A construction worker is in stable condition after a robber shot him in broad daylight. The victim was working on a house on Brown Street in Fairmount near Eastern State Penitentiary when the robber came in. As Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nevis tells us, police have stepped up patrols in that neighborhood. A normally quiet neighborhood near Fairmount was rattled Friday after a broad daylight shooting and attempted robbery. Today we had a young man that got shot doing his job down the street and he ran up the street. He said, I've been shot, I've been shot. The victim, a 57-year-old construction worker, collapsed in front of Milton Sloan's home. He told Sloan and other neighbors he was working with a crew demoing this home on 20th and Brown Street when an armed robber walked in. He's the foreman of the crew that's tearing down the house. Whoever came and shot him knew that he's paying his people on Friday. The attacker got away before police arrived. It's obviously concerning that somebody's, you know, out here with a gun and they haven't caught him yet. Philadelphia police have increased the patrols in the area around Fairmount to put homeowners at ease, but also because hundreds of people are expected to head to and from the annual terror behind the wall event at Eastern State Penitentiary. It's a crazy time of year here in this neighborhood. Um, uh, you know, hopefully the police are doing their job, and I'm sure they will be to, uh, to catch the guys. While police try to do that and have additional patrols in the area, we are told that terror behind the wall has its own private security team as well. In Fairmount, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.